I've been into art since I was a little girl. It's just always been a dream to be a painter and to be a drawer, and I've always doodled and um, I love written word, and so I'd have sketchbooks just filled with writing and drawings and they would intermingle. So I've always um, used words to play with. Um, and the, the work that I'm doing now has developed because I was given a typewriter as a gift. And so I started doing writings on the typewriter, and I'm not a very gifted writer, so I started making drawings with the letters on the typewriter. And so that's kind of just snowballed into incorporating text into my professional work. I want people to see representation of people as complex beings, as people that are thinking, as people that are evolving and becoming something rather than just a, a stagnant image or a stagnant thing. So um, something that's dynamic, um, even though the, the works are kind of quiet, um, but there's a, there's a subtle dy dy uh, dynamic nature to them. So I want them to see an energy. Well, my current work that I'm really excited about moving forward with is um, going to be all about women, and it's going to be about uh, women as represented by um, shared and personal histories. So I'm going to choose words that are from historical text and text by women, and then also more personal words. So some of it's, um, when I do my uh, self-portraits, I use stream of consciousness writing, or I'll choose a word that um, describes the, the, the subject that I'm doing. And then for these, these works that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using specific texts um, written by women or written about women. Um, so hopefully they add a little bit more to, to the image besides, you know, um, just the image. They add a, another layer to them. Being an artist is, is uh, definitely like a constant evolution. It's a constant um, excitement and a constant challenge. I think, um, you know, the, the biggest thing is that I feel so blessed and so lucky that I can spend my time, you know, creating things and making things and thinking about things. So I think more than anything, I really get a sense of peace from exploring how I feel about life and, and being able to live that life and, and share it with people. I think definitely one of the largest rewards I get from being an artist is when other people are inspired by what I do. You know, I think that that's, it's just really exciting that someone else can go in like, I can't believe you did that, or it means so much that you did this, or, you know, if, um, you know, somebody just comes up and thinks about something new or just expands their world like it expands mine. So being an artist expands the world, and I love that. Um, I think I definitely look for um, images of people that are contemplative, um, images that are, uh, you know, definitely portray people as more thinking beings rather and especially for the women that I choose um, you know I think women in art are so often portrayed as um, kind of more sexual subjects or um, more something just to look at and so I really try to find images of, of women that you know are, are more spiritual or are calm or are thinking um, rather than just kind of a passive image. I mean, they're still quiet because I don't really like confrontation in my work because I want it to be something that's approachable. I think some of my favorite art is participatory art. I think that there's art for everyone. I think that there's different types of art and I think there's room for all of it. Life would be so boring without art. Because um, art you know, it's an expression of where our culture is. You know, it's an expression of the liberty that people have. It's a way to gauge um, a community in terms of uh, what's going on in that community. It keeps people, you know, um, thinking. It keeps people aware of things. Uh, why do we not need art?